Hey, this is Alex with Bot Mission Rising. Today I got an awesome video for you today. I'm going to show you how to modify Google Assistant's voice so that gives it a more personal feel. Okay, Google, what is your favorite movie? Maybe this is predictable, but I love Star Wars, Sitting Dio, and R2D2 always make me laugh. Let's go ahead and change it to Chinese. And ask the same questions. Okay, Google. Who is your crush? <laughs> okay, now let's try changing the language again. Let's try this. Okay, Google, what am I thinking right now? You're thinking if my Google Assistant gives is what I'm thinking I'm going to freak out. And let's go ahead and go to the Google Assistant website here. Go to the Get Started tab. Let's go ahead and set up our hardware for Raspberry Pi 3. So here you're going to need a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, a USB microphone, a speaker, and an SD card. The microphone and the speaker and your SD card already preloaded with Raspberry Pi with Noobs Raspbian. You have a couple choices either using a monitor or just doing it remotely. to configure and test our audio. Let's go ahead and just type copy and paste these commands into your uh, console here. Google here provided a pretty nice one click copy and paste. Okay, let's go ahead and test it. If you ever have any issues with this part, just go ahead and go through the troubleshooting section. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start our brand new Google Developer Project. Let's go ahead and follow the Google link here. Go ahead and create a brand new project. I'm going to call it Google Home. Okay, the next step. 
next step is to enable the API. So let's go ahead and file the link. Let's go ahead and enable it. And the next step is to create a authentication client ID. page enable web location device voice I think we got everything all right let's move on to the next step downloading the library and running the code So we're just going to go ahead and just copy all of these lines here and paste it into our console. system library.
next step is to go ahead and authenticate our Google program here. The quickest way is to copy and paste and find our secret key here. Do a copy pass rather than just a regular copy. And then we can go ahead and go back into the console and replace template path here with our actual copy path. that should pop up a website and we just gotta authenticate ourselves and that should give our Python app the permissions it needs to connect to Google. Alright, next is to install uh, Python speech recognition. Let's just go ahead and do a Google search for that. Click on this website and let's follow the install instructions. And next we need to do the same thing, look for GTTS, go ahead and install our GTTS. Next we need to install FFmpeg. There wasn't a website for this, so I basically just typed in the code here, and let's go ahead and let you look at this for a sec. Feel free to pause, continue. I'm just going to copy and paste it, and this will install FFmpeg. Once you have your FFmpeg installed, you're going to need to modify your .asoundrc file within the home directory of Raspberry Pi. Um, just go ahead and look at the screenshot here and go ahead and pause your video and type it out uh, exactly as you see. In order to do basically what this does is outputs your speaker into a loopback so that we can actually capture it for um, text translation later on in the tutorial. Okay, next is to go into uh, the directory on Raspberry Pi, expanding Assistant SDK Python, expanding Google Assistant, Google Samples Assistant, and into the library. I know that's pretty long. Um, then what we're looking for is the hotword.py sample. We're going to go ahead and copy it. And let's put it into wherever your project folder is. My project folder is Google Botmation. And we're going to open it, rename it to hotword-mod.py. And here I already modified the code. Um, we're going to go ahead and add speech recognition, GTTS, uh, and uh, G GPIO as additional features. Mm -hmm. 
So in process events, I modified a few sections of the code. So essentially what um, the Google Assistant does is when you start the program, it just says on conversation started, which is when you said, OK, Google, and on conversation turned finish is when the whole conversation is over and Google's already responded to you. So what I did was I added um, a few extra lines of code for my GPIO LED indicator to give me a red and green status of when uh, my program is listening versus just responding. So I added a on responding started, which is when Google sends back a response to your question. And I have Google's response being recorded through a loopback audio loop using FFmpeg. And what that's going to do is basically capture the conversation for us to then send it through the GTTS listener, which is at the on conversation turn finish line for processing and giving us a transcript back into the variable called pickup, which then we send it off down to speak. And what speak is going to do is going to take that text translation and send it off to GTTS and give us an audio playback of that transcript using the preferred language that we specified. And right below the speak method, we also have the listener, which basically from earlier, we send a recording of the audio response and send it off to the Google speech recognition program in the cloud. And it's going to come back with a text translation of what it thinks it said. And that's it. All you got to do now is go back and launch the demo. And I hope you enjoy everything. Thanks for watching.